Thank you very much. We're really pleased to be here, and thank you for coming out on this cold night, and hopefully we'll warm you up a little bit with some music. And uh, I'd like to introduce the members of the group so you can um, appreciate their, them, and as the, as the evening goes on, they'll have some time to speak about what they're doing, their playing, and the uh, material. We have uh, VK Raman from South India. And Yusef Sharonet from Iowa. That's okay, right? That's good. That's okay. I don't live there anymore. <laughs> and Shane Shanahan, who you, many of you know already. Okay, we started off with a, uh, some tambourine solo. And uh, this is a solo that utilizes different techniques. This, the tambourines, obviously, it's very popular in uh, the Arabic world, but it's up, uh, obviously, it's also popular in South I uh, Italy. South Italy has a wonderful tambourine technique, and also South India. So this little solo is combining some of those techniques. And then we segued into, I did a little conical, a little bit of rhythm singing with uh, clapping for the cycle. And we went into a piece called Miriam's Prophecy. And this was a piece that was composed by my wife, Lalar Kotler, and I a number of years ago. And we've done many versions of it. And the theme of uh, the ancient world and Miriam, a biblical figure, uh, was that was the inspiration for the piece. So that was Miriam's Prophecy. And uh, let's see, we're going to continue with some soloing. We're going to have some solos from the three uh, frame drummers and a solo also from, uh, from Rahman. And uh, I'll let each of them uh, introduce their piece. So I'm going to be uh, playing a solo on this drum that's um, called a slapback, or uh, it's a kind of a, a newer version of what's called an ocean drum, which some of you might be familiar with. It's um, you know, remember the frame drum family, it's got one skin on one side, but on the back side it has a mesh, and inside are a bunch of uh, ball bearings, so that um, that allows me to get a lot of different kinds of sounds, and when I roll the ball bearings around on the head inside, it sounds like the waves. So um, this is a drum that, that I uh, first came to actually um, the first concert I did with Glenn, I think, when I was a student in graduate school, he came in as a guest artist, and I was working with him, and um, he suggested that I do a solo on the concert, and I said, well, what, what could I possibly do um, when you're doing what you do? <laughs> and he said, well, why don't you try the ocean drum? And he said, okay, cool. So I took the ocean drum and um, kind of tried to figure out as many different things as I could do with that with that this one drum so um, here's some of those ideas
All right, hello everyone. I'm going to play a uh, solo on this instrument called the Gaval, and it's from Azerbaijan. It's, um, you can see that there's pretty much two different styles that we play with these frame drums. Um, Shane was playing, there's one called on the knee, and then, and then the upright position. And I'm not sure what, what yes, uh, slide is up there, but these are really ancient drums, and you see that like the normal way they would play back then would have, be holding the drum in one hand <clears throat> and playing with the other. And our mentor, our teacher, Glenn Velez, has developed a completely different way to play these drums, adding a lot of different techniques from taking the split hands from South India. You saw Shane do some of these, some snapping, uh, some brushing techniques. So I'm going to adapt those all onto the drum. And we did some workshops over the last couple days with students, and we were talking a lot about time cycles. So I'm going to mess around just a little bit with time cycles, and I'll be using some South Indian vocalizations. You heard Shane earlier think we were saying tari ginatum, saying five. So basically, it's a way to count instead of using numbers. They're just nonsense symbol, syllables, tari ginatum. So if you hear me vocalize them, I'm either vocalizing the cycle, kind of like what the metronome would do, or maybe vocalizing what the drum would do. frame drummers around the world and every one of them has the really accomplished ones have a unique style and un a unique voice on this and that's one of the great qualities of this drum so it's one of the things I like so much about it and as you can see from the slides this has been around a long time and uh, it's kind of reappearing in modern culture in the late 20th century and the, the early 21st century so hopefully the uh, uh, the awareness of it and the appreciation of the beauty of these drums will just keep increasing over the years. So I'm gonna play a solo on this one and just uh, experiment and I'll do a little bit of overtone singing. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. And now we have a solo by Rahman playing some of the raga material, and I hope he'll explain a little bit of what he's going to do for us. Absolutely. Thank you, Glenn. So I'm playing the uh, South Indian bamboo flute. It's called as uh, Murli. And uh, the North Indian bamboo flute is also called as Bansuri. The main difference between the North Indian flute and the South Indian flute is the size. And uh, as you can see, there's a natural node. It is a very, very simple instrument. And uh, it's been said that it dates back to f more than 5,000 years. And the flute has not changed anything. And this is a great instrument, very simple, and uh, but very demanding instrument. And uh, it gives a lot of room to create and play around. And I'll be using a different flutes, even though I'm playing in the same key, just to get uh, different textures. I'm going to be uh, playing different flutes. And uh, the raga, ragas are melodic scales. So, and uh, usually the South Indian ragas are always connected with the moods and emotions. The emotion of the raga which I'm playing today is um, happiness, because <laughs> Like Glenn said, after a long time, we are all playing in front of the audience, and we are all very happy and excited. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. It's, it's a great uh, feeling for an artist to perform for an audience, and which we missed for a couple of years now. <laughs> so this piece is called Happiness. So I'm going to do a free flow of the raga. Just uh, uh, It's an improvisation, and uh, without rhythm. And uh, after that, I'll be playing uh, with the uh, with the rhythm, with the groove. Yeah. And uh, I'll be using a thing called drone. Mm -hmm. It's an old instrument. Um, it's again. Um, a very, very big, huge instrument, but we don't use that anymore. We, we, I'm playing it out of my iPad. It's an app available. <laughs> but it's a very four-stringed instrument like um, sitar or veena. So it's being plucked. And now it's all there, digitally recorded. <laughs> Thank you. 
very much. We just have a few minutes left, so we're going to uh, play some excerpt from uh, this larger piece. It's called Doctrine of Signatures, which is a piece for uh, frame drums, and we're going to have Raman uh, play over some of the rhythms that we play in this piece. So we start off, we're going to start off with a uh, three-beat cycle and then we'll go from there and maybe play a four-beat cycle and try to throw in some different rhythms that we've been working on. <laughs> the time went by very fast. <laughs>
Thank you very much on behalf of Raman, VK Raman. Yusef Sharonek. Shane Shanahan. And I'm Glenn Vallis. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, so um, as you probably know, we will be doing a workshop now, um, a hands-on uh, drumming experience where you get to learn some of the things that um, we were doing up here. Are you ready? Yes. Of course, you're not obligated to stay, so if anybody doesn't feel up for it, feel free to leave. Um, we thought it might be fun to um, try to um, put this, the chairs of those of you who are going to stay in a bit of a semicircle. So if you're um, able to um, shift your chairs a little bit so that we can all uh, kind of be a part of the same um, semicircle, that'll be great.